Hi everyone, Daryl Pedersen again here with my 125th scale Noah Shep Whiting S329. We're looking at the radio control unit here. I'm going to talk about the uh, fire pump. So you see the switch here in red. Um, if you flip that switch down, it turns on the fire pump. Now the fire pump is located obviously down here in the hall. Um, it pumps water from a reservoir. This is nothing more than a fuel tank for radio control airplanes. But instead of pumping it from my sea chest, I wanted to do it from a, a reservoir so I can uh, turn on the fire pump at boat shows or you know, any kind of static display. Um, so the reservoir comes down to the pump and the pump pumps the water through this red line which runs through the frames of the ship works its way around and eventually pops out up here towards the bow. And right here is my easy disconnect. Just push that, disconnects the, the water line. The water line goes up in this superstructure, which comes off. And then over here is the crew member that still needs to be painted with the fire hose. And if you see here, I have a 125th scale fire nozzle handheld. I've got my fire hose and it runs up to the fire station there. Doors are open and there's the valve inside. So you turn on the water pump and this crew member shoots a very steady stream of, of water. Very impressive. The other pump I have is the uh, pump for just the overboard just discharge. It pumps up from the sea chest, which is in the, in the bottom of the model. Pumps up through here and just simply goes out of the overboard discharge there. All right, so those are the two water pumps. Here is the model, obviously with the bow hatch removed. The davit section has been removed and the stern section has been removed. You just fill that up with water and you're good to go. All right, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great day.